You guys are having a fantastic day. And as you guys can tell from the title, I bought my second house today in cash. So thanks a lot to everybody who uh, said congratulations and left love on my um, Facebook post. I really appreciate it. So this video, I just wanted to go over some questions I was getting asked and, you know, just some tips and stuff like that. Give you guys some motivation because I know a lot of people might be in the predicament I used to be in. So if you don't know, I fell two months behind on a studio apartment that cost only $500 a month because I was a broke college student. My car kept breaking down damn near every day. I didn't have a back window. My back seats were moldy. Um, I had a super shitty job that I was somehow supposed to be able to pay for my college loans, rent, um, utilities, the car breaking down, and just and then having fun and stuff on the side. Like, you know, there was no way that all of that was going to be sustainable off of that crappy ass job that I had back then. But yeah, going through all those experiences and stuff like that, you know, changed my perspective on a lot of things, made me get back into marketing. Because if I didn't struggle, then I probably wouldn't have got back into marketing, which means I probably wouldn't own a, uh, two houses right now. I probably wouldn't, you know, make more than a doctor chilling in my bed. Like, I probably wouldn't have the lifestyle that I got right now if everything was going perfectly fine. That's the reason why a lot of people fail at this stuff is because they're probably, they're just, they're not hungry enough. You know, like they'll come into this expecting to like make millions of dollars overnight, just some stupid, ridiculous um, stuff that they get put in their head from all these BS Facebook ads or YouTube ads or whatever, talking about how they're going to buy a Lamborghini in three days and type of all this stuff. But anyway, you guys get the point. You got to have realistic expectations when it comes to this marketing stuff because it completely changed my life. So it can do the exact same thing for you. You just got to put in the work though. Like this isn't magic. This isn't some fairy tale push button magical software or anything along those lines. But I already made several videos on marketing and how I make money. I also got another video coming out tomorrow on how you can make $10,000 fast. I'm giving you guys a few ways and stuff. And each way is, you know, methods that I've done and made money with. So it's not any of that uh, type of stuff where like people seen it online and they make a video talking about it. It's just stuff I've actually done here. But this house right here, I've been looking at for about about five months. I actually saw it over on Craigslist. I love Craigslist, guys, you know, when it comes to buying houses. We're going to look at some in a second here. But I was looking at this house for about five months, like just literally just, just staring at this house. And I was going to buy it back in May, June, around that area. And um, I saw a video basically of, you know, people who are way more knowledgeable than I am in the real estate space. And they said, just hold off and wait towards the end of the year because the prices of houses are going to start going down. So this house actually dropped $15,000. I was like, God damn. Then I was able to talk dude down another $2,000. So that was smooth. You know, not a lot, but I mean, I'd rather have an extra $2,000 and not have, have it at all. Right. So that was awesome. So I got the house. And now it's going to be rented out next week, Monday. Um, the guy, he was really salty to let it go. Like I, like I said, he was really salty, but he just had a fire on another house. Then he lost his job and it's lot. So he basically just had to just try to get rid of this house right here. So this was a perfect find for me. Like I said, I just was patient, legit took like four months of uh, waiting, but it, it definitely paid off. But anyway, now that I bought the house, I'm going to go in there tomorrow, replace all the carpet, um, put in some new flooring or whatnot, and some new appliances, and a fresh coat of paint, and that's it. That's all she wrote. We'll be done, and I can get her rented out, you know, projected by Monday here. Got the tenants lined up, and your boy will be making $10,000 per year in passive income, you know, off this uh, little real estate deal. Um, right here. So this first house that I bought right here, I've saved twenty five thousand dollars on rent. I'm telling you, if you have not bought a house in cash yet and you got the money, I would highly recommend it. Go get you a cheap house for like forty, fifty thousand dollars, and call it a day. You be going, that's a lot of money. It's really not though. Like I was doing the math earlier, or well, before I made this video, but in three years, I spent over thirty thousand dollars just in rent. So if you've been renting for like 10 years, you probably spent easy, low in 100K, just like that. So for me personally, I've moved out. I was paying $500 a month in rent. So let's say I did that for a year because I don't remember exactly how long. So that was $6,000 right there, right? Then I moved out and I was paying $650 per year. $650. God damn it. All right, so that is 7,800 plus that 6,000, which is 13,800. And then I paid around 
for the last house that I was in. So that's 31,800 bucks in like four years, somewhere around there. Anyway, it's like, it was uh, over three years I messed up in the first part, but you guys get the point. In a few years, I spent $31,000. And now again, since I don't have any rent payments, no mortgages, no nothing, all that money goes back into my pocket every single year. Like two days ago, what's it, the third now? Fourth, somewhere around there? It's the third today. Um, right now, that would have, a few days ago, I would have had to pay $1,000 out of my pocket. I would have had to pay $12,000 this year in rent. That whole $12,000 went right back into my pocket. I don't have to pay anybody or anything along those lines. So it comes back slowly, but it definitely comes back. And then for this rental property right here, I'm going to be charging $800 per month. And that's going to be $9,600 per year. So let's say I keep this house and everything goes good uh, for 10 years. That's $96,000 right there. Not bad at all, right? And who knows how many houses I'll have in 10 years or whatever. But you guys get the point. That's the whole reason I bought this house was just so I can rent it out and start making uh, some passive income in this real estate space here. Now, this is where I go to get my houses at for dirt cheap. Craigslist. Tell you Craigslist is absolutely amazing. I come over here to the side, put in the price of minimum five thousand, and then the max price can be whatever you want. I just put fifty thousand for this example here. And as you guys can see, we got plenty of houses right here. Thirty thousand dollars, you know, twenty nine thousand dollars, twenty five thousand dollars. Now it goes a hundred percent by your area. If you live in New York, stuff like that. Um, again, I wouldn't live in those. I wouldn't buy a house in those areas because the taxes is just too expensive for me personally. I just, I just couldn't do that. Um, but anyway, it all goes by your area. So like for this house right here, like because there's a house that was uh, in my area that looks similar to this. It went for sixty seven hundred, and it was actually in better condition than this. Sixty seven hundred, and these people want thirty five thousand. So this is in Texas right here, Dallas. So if you live in a really big city stuff like that odds are it's going to cost you a lot more for a house so if you can move out to the boonies you know if you're a marketer that's the best part you don't you can do whatever you want you can move to wherever you want and go wherever you want you don't have to worry about you know a job or anything like that you can sit in the house like why not move to the boonies move you know to a smaller city something like that because again if you're going to be paying thirty forty thousand dollars a year and taxes or something like that for a house i wouldn't even waste my time doing that because i can't be secured with that like if i fuck up and lose all my money you know and it just gets caught on fire whatever the case may be i will still have my house at the end of the day so i will never have to worry about where i'm going to lay my head at or anything along those lines because i got my house now if i have to worry about a thirty thousand dollar per year tax bill coming in every day i can't even get some fucking sleep at night <laughs> but anyway you guys get the point now for this one right here this one is fifty thousand so this is a type of house i would buy just to live in the like, oh man look how small the house is it doesn't matter like you want a place where you can go home and just lay your head down at now if you want to save up and buy a house for like 100 uh, 150k or something like that by all means do it right if that's what you want to do then do it but if you're like me and you just like all right i just want a house you know that looks good you know i don't have to worry about somebody coming in and killing me at night you know worried about the neighborhood being super bad and stuff like that like you get you a nice little decent house for about thirty to fifty thousand dollars gonna be pretty well off depending on again your area of course so you see this house is in pretty decent condition you can move right in there right it's not the super fanciest obviously we got a little bit of uh, uh paint or whatever work that needs to be done right there but that's nothing you know so buddy just shoot him something low at first thirty five thousand you know he might not take it then we just go from there go back and forth and then don't go past your um your mark like, let's say I was like, I'm not willing to pay anything more than $40,000 for this house. Stay at that $40,000 and then just leave the door open. But, oh, okay, well, I completely understand. I'm not willing to go over any anything higher than that. Um, you got my number. If, you know, let's say a month from now, you want to take that deal, by all means, my, uh, my number, just hit me up or whatever. Boom, there you go. Just leave the door open. Like, I overplayed my hand a little bit when it came to uh, this house that I just bought because I probably could have got it for a little cheaper, but I was I was too eager for it. Like I said, I was, I've been looking at this house for like five months. I would check every single day down there to check and see if it was still on the market or whatever. 
And um, it was still there, so it's just like, man, I, I gotta get this house or whatever. Then once it, you know, uh, dropped down again with that fifteen thousand, I was like, no, I'm just jump on it right now, just just because somebody else might have came and scooped it up. So, yeah, Higo one right here for thirty nine thousand dollars. Look, it's in a um, nice little secluded area too, as you guys can see right here. We don't get a lot of houses, I mean, a lot of pictures with this one, but again, thirty nine thousand dollars right there, and you got a house that you can live in. See, a lot of people, again, want it to be super fancy and all that stuff, you know. That just need a little bit of paint work. That ain't shit. You know, you probably pay someone, like, $2,000, you know, for, to go through and fix, um, to get out your house, whole, your whole house painted and everything. Now, again, for you people that live in really high-ass, expensive places like New York, that's probably going to cost you, like, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. <laughs> so, keep in mind, I'm talking from my experience in my area because you know if, again if you live in those really high expensive cost to live places then i don't know what to tell you i would just move that's just me though now this one right here is eleven thousand three hundred bucks and this one isn't too bad now, a lot of people look at this and be like oh man the back look at the windows broken got the paint you know and um you know it looks like look like the wood over here is falling off it looks like he's gonna need a new roof and all this, I would get this shit in a heartbeat. Fix this bad boy up and look like the lights and stuff. Like for me, is if the lights are working, the foundation is good, and it just needs minimum work. Like, I don't really care. Like, if I can go and get this house right now for like eight grand, like people see this shit right there. Oh no, I, I would never touch that. I would never touch that house. Bro, that's literally just drywall. Like, you know how much a sheet of drywall costs? Ten dollars. <laughs> get a whole ceiling done for like 50 bucks like it is not as bad as it looks like you would think i mean that it's just like this right here oh man this house is just just disastrous just terrible no nope, real life ain't even that bad just a just a few bucks needed yep if this was in my area i would buy this shit i ain't even gonna lie to y'all if this was legit like here in my area i would buy this call buddy up right now shoot his ass like eight thousand dollars call it a day and fix it up you know but yeah, that ain't bad though. You know, like I said, window, that ain't none. That's like, what, 200 bucks? Get that, put that in there, boom, good to go. Yeah, that's that's a beautiful house right there. I don't know, it's like a diamond in the rough. All you need is a fresh coat of paint, some drywall, and uh looks like it might need a new roof. And that ain't, again, ain't shit. That's probably like 10. So again, you pan, let's say total, let's say we can hit Buddy, because, you know, he ain't getting that 13. I mean, he ain't getting that 11. Three. So let's say we shoot them eight. Then we pay, let's say, let's say on the high end we pay like fifteen thousand dollars for a roof. And uh, let's say we got, um, let's just say on the inside five thousand dollars in re and repair and stuff like that. And then let's just say another three thousand dollars for materials. That's thirty one thousand dollars right there. And let's say we rent it out, because that looks like a really nice area and stuff, too. But obviously, I don't have any details on this here. We're just literally talking out of my ass right now with the, and making up numbers here. But let's say we get let's say we get 1200 bucks per month on that house. So we just take that, 31000 divided by 1200 it would take us 25 months to get our money back. So a little over two years and a half. Then after that, it's all profit. I mean, that ain't bad. And let's take that 1,200 times 12. That's $14,000 per year we make off that house times 10. What's that? $144,000 right there. Not bad from a $30,000 investment. So you see what I'm saying? Like, these are the perfect houses. Like, I love houses like this because you can get them for super dirt cheap. Well, I mean, technically, I haven't bought one um, like this yet. But it, this is, like, my favorite type of house that I'll be looking at over here on Craigslist because, I mean, the houses that I you know I bought, I've, every, every single one, well, I say every single one, it's been, like, a million. It's only been two houses. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself, but... Both houses move in ready. Like, I don't have to go in there and put a new carpet or anything along those lines. Like, I could just literally just have them move in. But I just want it to be, you know, really nice, fresh coat of paint, fresh everything, you know. 
So that's pretty much it, though. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Uh, oh, yeah, this was another one that I've seen right here for 20 grand right here. So look at that. Again, these are like this. They say nothing. All you need is a little bit of a little bit of paint. Look at that. Twenty thousand dollars. You got you a whole house. And this right here, that ain't shit. Like a lot. Of, oh man, that looks so bad. Look, that is nothing. You can literally refinish this right here. Get that looking nice and pretty. Um, white. They got all of those uh, YouTube videos that go over that. Let's see. Um, look at this. Yeah, this this ain't bad at all. See, this is another house that I would pick up too. Shoe buddy, like fifteen. See what they say. I mean, worst thing they can say is no. That's the thing. Like I don't care if they say no. I'll get rejected all damn day. I can care less. They look, no, we're not going to take that. Okay, that's fine. You have my number. Go on right to the next. Somebody will take your money. But again, that's pretty much it, though, guys. I'm done rambling here. Um, again, thanks to everybody who um, you know, congratulated me on getting the house. Hopefully, this video helped you guys out, maybe opened your eyes up to uh, buying the house or whatever. Like I said, for me personally, I wouldn't go out and finance a house or anything like that because, I mean... Like why? Like why am I going to go and finance a hundred fifty thousand house, a hundred fifty thousand dollar house when I could just get one for fifty thousand and just be perfectly cool? Like it's just me. Like I mean, obviously if you got kids and stuff like that. I mean, you want and this is like your forever house. This isn't my forever house right here. I bought this just so I wouldn't have to worry about any rent or mortgage or anything like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Though I'm done, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. If you got any questions, put them in the comment section down below.